Nine. Tampa Bay area saw some localized flooding. You know, you were mentioning yesterday the system going up the East Coast, aiming at New York City. Next, oh my gosh. Right? Oh, it is going to be awful. If you have flights tomorrow morning out east, okay. I would I would plan for an alternate or definitely see if you can change your flight mm. because it is going to be massive in terms of the impact. Two to four inches of rain plus flooding. Look at that monster of a system. It's just working its way up the coast. This is absolutely no fun for anyone that is in its path, and this is churning up towards D.C. Baltimore is going to get hit by this. New York up towards Boston. Holy smokes, this is a lot of rain in a very short amount of time, and it's the wind. You factor all that together, we got some issues. But in terms of what's on the way, a winter storm watch for Giaga and inland Ashtabula County. So this is as we go into Monday night. Well, let's say Monday afternoon into Tuesday morning. It's the winter storm watch. We're really keeping an eye on this. It's for steady lake effect snow and for reduced visibility, I'd say Chardon. This is probably one of those classic setups that you've seen before and we've talked about before as well that uh, this is going to be one of those situations where you're going to be dealing with that type of uh, targeted lake effect snow where it's like that bullseye is right in your neighborhood. So uh, this is the rain that moved on through. We still have some rain moving through Trumbull County at this point. It is starting to weaken over towards Cortland and Kinsman, but again, not as heavy as it was earlier. Some rain moving through areas like, uh, well, parts of Carrollton County and Tuscarora County too at this point. But, you know, this is the big picture that we're really focusing on. So again, we've got something to deal with tomorrow morning, the rain. But again, this is the impact tomorrow morning. This is why if you have a flight, you got to take a peek at this because that is heavy rain and really gusty winds moving up the coast. Now we move you further back towards our neighborhood and uh, we have rain changing over to snow and then we have snow kind of firmly in place for Monday evening into Tuesday morning. Once we get through Tuesday morning, then you clean things up, you shovel it out and then it's quiet. Like really quiet. So uh, that's your big picture look, but let's talk about the hour by hour forecast. So here's your National Design Mart hour by hour look and we'll have temperatures on this map as well. Cooling down a little bit tonight into the let's call them mid to upper 30s. We'll have warmer conditions by the lake, but then as we go into Monday morning, it definitely starts to get a little more interesting. So rain again still by the lake. Snow starts to work into Mansfield, Elyria over towards Millersburg. And then look at this. Everybody gets in on some of that snow as we go into Monday and then this is when it will start to kind of accumulate on those colder surfaces, your roof, your garbage cans, the tops of your cars, your windshield by about one to two o'clock. Look at how steady it is, especially from Cuyahoga County out towards uh, Geauga Lake and Ashtabula counties. Watch as it just kind of sits there four, five, six o'clock into Monday evening. Now it targets into those really narrow lake effect bands right through parts of uh, Cuyahoga and Geauga counties, even into Stark County too. And then we go into Tuesday in the very early morning hours. Watch it as it just kind of fades away. So this is really a Monday eve, well, afternoon and evening event before things really start to settle down. But it is cold. I mean, it is just going to feel like a blast of winter. So we have to kind of give you an idea of what to expect. The bullseye again is really in Geauga County here. We'll zoom in and show you what to expect. We're going with about four to six inches here. Now with Lake Effect, this could be finicky. These numbers could be a, a bit on the low side, especially for areas like Middlefield and Chardon. But I would say four to six is a nice, comfortable number that we have right now. Again, it could be a little more, but here's your Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast. So again, rain changing over to snow. 40 will be our high for tomorrow. Short lived temperatures will be falling and then leftover lake effect for Tuesday. Temperatures really cool in the low 30s. And then look at this. We're headed into the 40s and we're not getting much of a break as we head toward the holiday weekend, Lena. All right. Thanks, Carl.